So if you notice carefully, the head is always smaller. But when we start off, we start off with the head and the body. Yeah. And I hope everybody is catching along with me, right? So the whole idea is yeah. to do that only. So you can sketch along. You can see if you have any doubts or any questions, you can ask them. Where have you shared, Prasad? Because I can't find the email. Share on WhatsApp. Like if you go on WhatsApp in the group, I have shared one link. Oh, okay, okay, the WhatsApp. Okay, okay, thank you. Yeah. So what's the idea, Prasad? So you want us, want everyone to draw these stick figures, all of them that yeah, are there. See, see what happens uh, usually with birds. Uh, what do we do? Like uh, we take a photograph, reference, and we just reproduce the like bird from a photograph. Like. So these stick figures, what happens? Like uh, the dynamics when you actually reproduce from a stick figure, like photograph. The dynamics of the bird drawing or painting goes off. Like. So uh, with these kind of stick figures, you, know, you can like uh, bring in the dynamics and you can bring in the action. Like uh, if you have seen the bird on the field or in some video, like you can still use these uh, kind of structures, like simple forms, to do uh, birds in different action motion. Like usually, if you see now, like most of the artists, they draw the bird sitting on a perch leaf or a tree, like a tree branch and everything, uh, or it's just sitting still or standing. So this is the way, like most of the birds you see, because it's mostly copied from a photograph. But uh, I think like uh, just copying from a photograph, you can print uh, print the photograph only and keep it like no need to do artwork. Like. But with these kind of stick figures, like you can do a lot of dynamics, you can work from videos, you can compose your own kind of bird, uh, like wherever you want, like you can compose them that way. And then later you can actually uh, use the photograph reference to do the details and the feathers and all those things. So this is the way I work. So I thought it would be very useful, like uh, if you are uh, you know, not just copying from a photograph, but working on these kind of gestures because this brings in a lot of uh, you know, dynamics in the drawing, painting, like uh, so these are ground birds. Basically, I've categorized the file. Now. You see, like there are thousand three hundred species of birds. So I've categorized them into different uh, like categories. So what I'm drawing currently, you know, they are all ground birds. So ground birds are very tiny. They they don't fly much. Like they have a very quick flight. So they're very tiny birds. That's why, if you see, you know, the head, body, everything is tiny, feathers also. So if you see this uh, head thing also, like, uh, the, this is called the eye line. This is where the eye sits. It's usually parallel to the beak. So uh, one thing for everyone, uh, Fasad. Uh, so A, one thing I want to ask you that everybody can put the uh, speaker view uh, so you can actually see the start screen uh, as a full screen, uh, if that helps everybody. Because I put speaker screen, but I'm not sure if it actually shows speaker screen for everyone or not. Uh, that's one thing. And another thing I want to ask, so do you guys, are you guys looking at the picture on WhatsApp on your phone and then drawing or how are you? Yeah, I like you draw with me instead of that is just for a reference only I've given. Like if you can draw with me, right, it will be more useful because later that uh, you can use that poster and then draw it later. If you draw with me, right, you can draw along. So that would be a better idea. I am drawing with Prasad. Okay. Nice. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh... Yeah, I am drawing as well. So different gestures I'm doing, if you see, huh? like, uh, in photographs, you might not get these many gestures. 
if you are searching for a specific bird, ground bird, it's like head turn is not there, like this kind of posture, or it's just looking at one direction, that kind of postures you might not get. So when you start off, you start like, I, when I start, I start this way, I start with very simple structures, like and with the idea. So composition, let's say like uh, this is your uh, artwork, you have the artwork, this is the canvas or paper. So you have a photograph uh, where the bird is somewhere in the middle, you don't want the bird there. You want it somewhere here. You can always do these kind of stick figures. You can compose it. You can make it like uh, you know run. So you can add, remove. So these kind of stick figures give you a lot of freedom to work that way. So that's the whole idea. These look very cute, actually. These drawings. <laughs> When you start, you start this way, like based on this. So we have many steps. This is the first step we are doing. Like we have two, three, and four steps where we start adding details and uh, we start refining the stick figure. So that also we'll be doing it. You can see like uh, those uh, steps also there on the poster, but uh, I'll explain those also while drawing them. So this is the first step. All the stick figures that we are drawing, like this is the first step we are drawing. Uh, Prasad, Ankit here, one question. Uh, so like these stick figures, uh, like while drawing them, should we uh, keep in mind certain proportions? Uh, like any... Definitely. Like I said, my head should always be smaller for the birds in general, the head is smaller. Like, mm -hmm. Ditto, ditto, like human anatomy, we don't have, like, there is no like, uh, document or that kind of research has not been done on bird. Mm -hmm. so bird, again, they are vast, uh, like, species also are, like, huge, and everything keeps changing. But in general, you make sure, like, you draw the head, which is smaller, and the body is almost like one, 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 and three, four, like, that size you can keep. Like, these are ground birds which have smaller body. So every bird, as we go to the next uh, sketches now, you will see like their body changes, head becomes even more smaller for cranes and those kind of birds. So based on the species, you need to check out on the proportions. Like don't draw the head bigger and the body smaller. Like then it looks like a cartoon. Like it won't look realistic. Like. And even neck also will keep changing. These ground birds have very tiny and small necks. Like once we go to flamingos, herons, and those kind of cranes, like they have really long legs. So this is the first uh, step we have done. Like we'll go to the second step. Like the second step is we start adding the mesh kind of uh, shapes on the bird. So if someone is into like so this is the eye line. Like I said, the eye is it from the eye line. Start adding the mesh kind of structure. Like if you're into making sculptures and so they build a amateur, like they build a wire kind of structure before adding clay or other material. So similar way we are going to add these kind of like uh, so this way when you add these kind of structures. When light falls, right, you get the 3D shape you can do easily. So this is the dark area. You have a shadow, like shadow will be here somewhere. So you can add the shadow. That way you get an idea like how the bird is and the body is in 3D. So that way you can do like, so that's why we're adding the mesh structure. So this is the second step we need to do. Let's do one more gesture. So if you observe carefully the ground bird side, right, the neck, neck is very small and even body and uh, the head also is very tiny. They don't fly much. They usually run a lot.
So when I start any artwork, I start with these kind of ideas and how I can compose the words. Like how so S curves we did S curves also in uh, few of the classes, like the previous ones. So those we are using here. This is the second step. Like we start adding the mesh structure. So we divide the bird into like two halves. Like this is the left left half of the body, and this is the right half. So once we start seeing it in this way, like we can add light also anyway, any direction. So if light is falling here, it becomes a dark area, and you have the shadow. You know, like shadow you can add here. This way I work like I, you can add the light, like if the photograph doesn't have light, it's very flat. You can add your own line. Otherwise, light is coming from here. Then this area is the light. This area becomes the dark area. So if you observe the still lights and the geometrical shape objects and everything last week. So you can add like based on that observation, you can add the shadow here because light is from here. So this is where the maximum light is falling. This area is dark. So you can add the shadow here. And this is the shadow. Here. So you can add your light, remove the light, whatever you want. It just gives you a lot of freedom. So these are ground birds. So we can go to the other kind of birds. Uh, the next kind of birds we have are uh, peacocks and ducks. So there again, we are going to do like similar uh, kind of stick drawing. But let's do ducks in light. Like. So uh, usually, uh, like artists try to portray birds in flight. So we'll do uh, a stick drawing where we divide the wings. The wings get divided into different parts. So we can do that. A bird in flight, we can draw. So I'll be showing later with pen also because uh, we have activity and uh, we have do in pen also. The same thing I'll be showing in pen also, two of the drawings. So this is the wing flap downward. So bird is flapping its wings downward. So it's flapping the wings downward. Based on this, how we do the second step? So we can refine this B. Everything we can refine. It. So we do the second step. So we draw the eye line where the eye is sitting. The line becomes B. Like we start refining the B of the duck. So we have the S curve. In the body, it was just a, it's a very basic shape only. Now we start drawing the body in the form of the duck. So how it looks in real, how the body of a duck is in real. Based on that. So this is the again left side of the body this is the right side. Two halves. We are dividing the bird's body into two halves. And then we refine the leg also a little bit. So they have webbed feet, so we refine that also. And the wings. 
Yes, our wings. The line will define the wings also. Now we start working on the wings. So, Prasad, just to get some background here, so how did you like, were you told by some instructors on doing this kind of exercises or? How did you come to this that you know these uh, these six figures should be done in this one Can you speak a little bit louder? Yeah, I'm asking. Uh, so, how did you decide like that these six figures will help us develop uh, our practice basically? In how do the six figures help in drawing? Yeah, I mean, how did you come to that conclusion? How did you figure it out? So, you see, now like human anatomy. Uh, any kind of uh, like uh, drawing process, and I've seen many courses like even on books also. I've seen like they do a lot of these uh, six figures there also. Like. Okay. Yeah, they do a lot of uh, these kind of six figures and other kind of like there are various methods that they follow to draw human anatomy. So uh, I found like if we do this kind of six figures for birds also. It might be easy where you can actually simplify it and you can you, know, like, uh, you can easily draw it like so it, it becomes like because it's not complicated you're not seeing any like colors you are not seeing any uh, texture those kind of uh, no, you're not seeing those kind of uh, distraction here then. so you are trying to simplify it when you simplify any kind of like subject, right, it becomes easy to draw for anyone. Yeah, and also, I mean, I think this teaches to uh, a line drawing, like you know, having improving our hand line drawing, and also the proportion. Yeah, proportions. You need to see which bird you are drawing. Basically, you need to yeah. before drawing any kind of bird. You see few pictures, you watch videos. Like today, we'll be working on a video also. So, once we watch the videos, like uh, we get an idea like how the bird actually looks like. So, once you get an idea how the bird looks, then uh, you can see like how the head is. Like uh, today, the bird we're going to draw is a painted stock, so it has a very elongated neck. Unlike the smaller bird, it has a very elongated neck and uh, it's uh, like even the bill also, like it has a long bill it has. So uh, that's why you need to see each bird species. So we have those kind of birds also in the six figures. We will be drawing them also. Like, so that gives an idea like when we're going to work from the video, it gives an idea like how we need to draw those kind of birds also. This way you can draw the bird in flight also. This will be a downward moment. You also have in that poster, you have the up, 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 uh, upward wing flap also. So you can try out those. When the bird is in rest uh, motion, it's like it's a stationary position. It's just standing like this way. So similar to these kind of structures, you start with that. This is the second, like, second step. We start adding the mesh. So why we are adding mesh also, I will tell you, like uh, when you give the light source, right, we can see like uh, the body is divided into right and left half. Same way the, the head also divided into right and left half. So once you divide it into two halves, then you can start adding the shading and those kind of things. Like when you start working, it starts giving the bird a 3D form. Yeah. 
So we also have peacock and rooster. I think you can try those. Uh, the ground and the ducks. Like basically, I want to cover this uh, flight pattern. So how the joints we are working with the joints. So these joints are very important. They are different joints in the wings. So how we work, how they flap. So based on this, you can refine this and get better wings. So I think since we are going to work on video where we have uh, a painted stock, I think we can do more stick figures on the cranes and heavens uh, portion where they have like smaller yes, legs, long build they have. Yes, sir, can you just slow down? Can you just go back to the previous sheet and just doing the last term? You want to okay. And I've shared my picture on the WhatsApp. Can you just see if it is right the way I've done it? Yeah, I think the proportions like body, you know, body is kind of when you're drawing like uh, so knowing the geometrical shape, like you need to draw the body correctly. So that's one thing I'm seeing. Head is okay, like uh, but body when you're drawing this kind of body structure, the geometrical shape needs to be like correct. Like even when you're drawing these kind of Let's say like body, we are drawing this way, no? Yeah. So these kind of structures, like it need to be more accurate. Like you, based on this is your skeletal system, this is your wire. Based on this only, like you are going to build on this only, you are going to build the main structure. Like okay. Those uh, round and those kind of uh, like forms, no? you need to be like, you can make them accurate. Like if you see mine, no? Advaita, your drawings are very cute. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's come out well. So. so can we go to the frames now? Yeah. Okay. Let's go to the frames. So if I'm going fast now, you let me know if I can slow down. So cranes, if you observe, they are the, not like the ground birds. Like, so uh, like you asked the question, na, how we decide on the proportions. Like. So see the cranes na, or the herons, like even the painted stock we are going to work on also. They have a smaller head, they have long buildings. And they have really elongated necks. So these kind, the proportion, like I said, now like till date, uh, it's not been done. Like uh, very little work has been done on the proportions of birds. Like human, definitely, like lot of work has been done on human body. Uh, like proportion on horses also, people know. Like, but. On the birds, like very little work has been done on the like the two proportions, like no one has been able to do it. So we see now head is smaller, they have long necks, and they have like two birds, like definitely they have much bigger body than the ground birds, and they have long legs also. So we'll be working on a painted stock which is very similar. In the video, we'll be doing this kind of stick drawing from that video. So it's going to help you when you're working from the figure. So I hope this uh, simplifies the bird uh, body. Like, so Prerna and asked me like how we decided like the stick drawing is going to help. So I hope this one simplifies the 
like usually bird drawing like everybody thinks it's very complicated but when you simplify it this way it becomes very easy uh, thanks manish so you have few like uh, flamingos also like flamingo also no have a small head they have small beak also but they have elongated neck they have like lot of joints in their neck and they have a big body also they have long legs that is true manish my god manish is saying that it reduces the expectation from yourself and and it's a great way to practice i think i'm i'm practicing these six figures You see, these are the cranes, and you can see like flamingo, like these kind of uh, birds. You can draw very easily, and if you are going on the field, also you can catch them. Like when they are moving very fast, now these kind of you can capture their gestures very fast. Which is otherwise like birds are uh, moving all the time, so it's very difficult to like uh, draw them. So let's say these kind of this is a pond heron. Pond heron also has a very like long neck, but if it keeps the neck inside, no, then how it looks? So what we'll do next is we go to the second stage of these stick drawing. This is the first stage you've seen. So let's try and draw the birds in the second stage. how we can build from this stick drawing how we can build just the line is there no so this is the eye line where the eye sits we have drawn a line so we just do this simple when the beak is done the neck is there we can draw along the neck we build the mesh structure here also We can add the feathers also. Tails, sorry. So this way you can build from this first step to the second step. So you can start building the structure. You can start building their, uh, making them look more solid. This way you can simplify it and you can draw it. Let's try and draw the pond here.
So is that the wing and then the front of the body? Yeah, this is the chest leg, like, the chest of the body. No? Okay. So it's, uh, why the chest is coming forward? No? Because the neck is inside leg. Like, put the neck, neck inside the body. So definitely the chest will come out. Okay. Got it now. So this is the first step. This one is your second step. Slowly you start refining it, start adding the beads and all the different things. Like these kind of necks only are going to get the video where the paint and stroke have a small has a small head is going to go in the water is going to have a body like that. These kind of will be getting in the video. Like you need to simplify. You are going to see all the feathers, like the long legs it has and motion, everything you are going to see. But you need to simplify it this way and uh, you need to draw it. Like, so that's what we are going to do. Like in the so these kind of so neck you will have like elongated necks for the painted stalks. In here you can add the wings and later all that you can add the tail. But if you get the gesture right, right, it's very easy. So anyone who sees the gesture or that kind of motion, they can say this is a painted stock there. But if you will not get the gesture movement and the activity correctly, then whatever like you put n number of detail. They can't make out like it's a painted stock. It looks like something else. So yeah, so this is how we work on the terrain. Then if you see now how I develop the will, how I develop the body. So they have different kinds of body, definitely. Like we need to see for every bird how it looks. And so based on this, you can see the next one will be in different shapes, head also will be in different shapes and bill also going to be different shapes. You can develop it like this. Into simple forms. This way you can move the bird into different direction, give it in different motion, like you can draw but whichever way you want, you can later once you do these kind of stick figures, you use the reference and add the details. Yeah, are we done with the crane? We can move to the other sheet, other birds. One second, Prasad. I'm just doing the last one. And again, like to complicate an art no, is very, very easy. Like this is something I always say. But to simplify any kind of subject is very, very difficult. Like so try and simplify it first. Then you can add all the details and you can add everything later. But first try and see it in its simplest form. Like that is that way you can draw it very easily. So different gestures you can keep doing. <coughs> so very easy once you start drawing birds this way, like it's very easy to draw it. So sometimes birds stand on one leg, they have one leg inside, so that way you can heaven usually also like you can see in water, they stand this way. So 
you can capture them very easily in this way. These are mostly herons, like what we are drawing. They are heron, purple heron, <coughs> this is a pond heron. What heron? Uh, the broken neck is which one? This one, no, mostly like flamingos or these kind of, even the, uh, you can say painted stock also, like they have elongated neck, like even purple heron also sometimes, they call it snake bird. Darter also is there, they have really elongated neck. Like. Sometimes not, they, you would have seen like their neck goes uh, this way. Like. Sometimes the neck will be like this way. Sometimes neck will be inside also, inside. So different ways they turn the neck like very flexible bone. Mahit, are you following the session? You haven't heard anything from me. Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I'm going along with her. Yeah. Uh, do share. You can just even share uh, your drawings on, uh, like, on your laptop. Yeah, yes, ma'am. One second. I'm not sure if you can see it, but I'm, I'm, I'm doing the uh, birds. I'm doing the, the yeah, long lots of, Yeah, lots of them, but yeah, I mean, it's very blurred. It's not yeah. So if you are done with herons and cranes now, you can go to the other birds. We have raptors and woodpeckers. So these birds also are very interesting raptors, especially. So I'm going to teach the third and fourth stage how we go here. From this stage one, how we go to the third and fourth, how we define maybe, like from the stick drawing, how we refine it even more. So let's see. We'll take uh, one of the smaller raptors first. We'll do the first and second uh, stage. Then we go to the third stage. So this is a very tiny raptor. It's called the Eurasian hobby. It has very small head. Usually raptors also have, like, unless vulture, no? vulture have elongated neck and big head. But most of the other raptors have like uh, tiny head and a tiny body, very streamlined body they have. They have smaller legs also, like not very big legs, but they have talons. So we start that way, a very tiny raptor, conservation hobby. So if you see the beak or bill, we call it as bill. Is pointed like for raptors. Huh? That's why this line is going down. So this divides the bird into like left and right half. So slowly, we just did one line here. Using the same line, we are going to start adding the tail feathers like.
is almost you it looks like a raptor because of the beak it's got all the features like tail also it's got a pointy tail most of the raptors have uh, very streamlined pointy tail they have so this is the third like third step we start refining from this line all i have done i started like adding the tail feathers in the pattern the bird has that's all i did and here i have given the features correctly the raptor i given the pointy bill and i have added talons also it's called talons in bird not claws we are getting the what is this is the third step like so if you see like we have done the second step third step we start refining this line into much better shapes like that starts looking like the bird actual bird the trajan did we uh, get the name right what is the name of the raptor what did you say raptor raptor this is a eurasian hobby a very tiny raptor it's a uh, winter visitor to india So let's see. I'm going to change the shield to another shield, new one. So we are done with this, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Let me. So we'll draw an osprey. Osprey also is a like fish eagle. So let's. start with the basic shape only again osprey are kites right so they are fish eagles eagles yeah osprey are fish eagles basically they feed on like fish <clears throat> kites are like we have brahmini kites we have black kite Australia fish eagles. What are some raptors? Hmm. Can you name some raptors? Raptors all like black kite. All these are like commonly we see. They are all raptors only. Black kite is also raptor. Like uh, the common ones we see, you know, chitra is a raptor. Is a very tiny raptor. then we have like bigger ones you have like golden eagle that is very famous golden eagle is very very famous in raptor you have steppy eagle so even vultures also part of raptor only which one vultures 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 so slowly you know from this shape i'm going to refine the head of the bird also so same i'm using the same i'm using the same uh, line that was drawn for the bill I'm using and i'm refining the head In this line, so is the neck. So we start developing the neck of the bird also. So slowly, slowly we start defining the wings. How they look in real from this pattern. From here you can start defining it. But when we start, we start with a very basic body. So osprey usually we see them like uh, they are perched near waterfronts, like they just sit. in the same place like even after hunting they come back to the same place 
it's a beautiful bird to watch it's usually like uh, one one or two osprey will be there maximum two will be there in the water like space not more than that so on this only i am building the wing again the same structure only but i'm refining it like that's all that's the only difference and you can see based on this only i'm building the wing pattern like the mesh structure everything i'm building on the same concept only but i'm just refining it that's the only difference So the leg, it also has a muscle also. We'll do that uh, muscles and everything in the woodpeckers when we're doing the woodpeckers. In this tail line, we are going to work on the tail line only. We are going to use them to refine the tail in much better way. So from this simple line drawing, like the stick figure, we can develop a bird from the like offspring. So usually you can see them, they will be sitting on stumps like this uh, in the leg front. So this way you can do them. So here, this kind of thick figures, here you can make the bird. This way you can change the head. Look at different posture, you can change the body also. The same bird, you can change it this way. You can make it stand in one leg also. Like keep the other leg inside. And the tail. So this way, these kind of stick figures now it gives you n number of like uh, possibilities you can do. Like uh, that way it helps you. Like so, otherwise you'll be stuck with only one picture. And then you will be reproducing that same picture again and again. Yeah, I'm, I'm not taking any photo reference for this drawing. I'm just drawing it based on this stick figure only. I'm not taking any Osprey reference at all. I'm just using that uh, stick figure. I'm able to 
draw this bird very easily and you able to draw Australia. So then you can go and refer an image, like you can add the details accurately and all that. But to compose the work from an idea, like you have a certain idea, like you want light, you can change the light also whichever direction you want. So this way, these stick figures help you. So this is not there in the sheet also. I've done it now, like so. Uh, just for showing, like how this stick figures now, you can use the. Uh, you can change the direction. Not only in one sitting motion, you need not do like you can just draw these kind of stick figures, and you can draw the osprey in any kind of head turn. You can do, like you can make the bird like let's say it's calling like, to make the head that way also. It gives you a lot of uh, options where you can work from. So that is about the osprey. Let's draw uh, mass harriers. So mass harriers also you find them mostly near the like uh, water area. So again, I'm starting with a very simple uh, structure. I'm starting with. This is all I'm starting with. The very simple idea I have like I want the mass harrier to be sitting on a tree. So, this is what I have. Based on this, what I'm going to do, I'm going to even more refine the head of this harrier, make it the proper shape with the harrier. Prasad, Ankit has some questions. Yeah, Ankit, go ahead. Prasad, uh, probably I am jumping the gun, can correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> uh, so, uh, so, like at what stage? So, for example, some of these birds are perched on a branch or maybe a tree. So at what stage, if at all, do we want to like draw the surroundings? So should we create a primary like, you know, bird figure first? And, and then how do we fit in the whole thing with, with the surrounding if we want to? So like, surrounding uh, it depends on what kind of uh, painting you want to create. Like. So that is, that again comes to composition. So how we are going to do like vertical composition. So let's say like I want only the bird to be my primary attention. Like. So where I want the tree, like how I'm going to draw it. Or let's say the same vertical composition. I want uh, the habitat to be my primary thing. The bird is going to be like tiny portion of that. Like. Okay. So you need to do a lot of thumbnail studies before and see which idea works for you. What kind of painting you want to create first thing. And composition also, you can put the bird here, you can put the bird sitting here, like even if the habitat is there, like, or you want only the bird to be in the corner. Like in this space, not like bird is the primary, like I want everybody to just see the bird, like that's it, Correct. I don't want anything else. Like, so all this will be blur, like it won't be like too much detail or colors also, it will be mostly very cool colors, like I don't want attention to go anywhere. Like, Hmm. So it depends on your style of painting, what kind of painting you want to do. So before you start any kind of artwork and anything, you need to work on. So my strong point I always see is composition. Like so, I work like uh, 
my composition i want to do this is a triangle composition so i see like what kind of composition i want to do where i want my primary subject so let's say you are doing two separate like you are doing a male and a female here so that way you can put a male here is calling like and the female is just watching from here so that way you compose like so this way you compose it creates a beautiful negative shape so this is very very important before you have even start going to the stick figure like composition like you need to see okay. like what kind of pattern you want style you want where you want to put the primary subject where you want the eye to go colors if you are doing colors if you want the eye to go on to a certain subject you put the warm colors there you don't want the uh, but in usually in nature like uh, birds will be blended with the surrounding okay okay uh, i particularly like this grid that you form so i mean do you think that that for like people who are you know just starting this thing they should yes. like first you know create a grid of this kind and then then decide the placement and then start drawing correct, correct. you need to do like you need to all kinds of and then what kind of canvas you are working also like so if you are doing vertical you place that way like if you are doing horizontal then let's say like here you want the female to be sitting here like and then male is falling here like she is sitting here hmm so same same concept na this is vertical this is horizontal same uh, i have used the same theory only but how i compose it so composition na you need to work this kind of composition see where you want which uh, subject to be placed which is your primary subject this is your secondary subject so what kind of colors you will be using here what kind of colors you will be using here so you need to see all those and what you should not do like background also in such a way background is important but should not be overwhelming or like i should not go on the background only so that also is important like you need to see like it should be a balance of everything okay thanks thanks this yeah, is yeah. so now from this stick figure i'm slowly like working same line only is the next so next slowly i am developing the next of this word but just defining it now we start adding the wings also like so we have a pattern this wings and these colors and how many primary secondary like those things you know not at this stage like you just uh, try to get the bird like try to get it uh, as mainly as possible try to compose it so do those later you can do the details you can watch this the exercise is not for making details like just to make it look like a marsh harrier like that's all we are trying to do this thing in this thing like
So from this pig feeder, we slowly start developing it into the actual bird. Like same concept, same head only. We refined it. We put the eye. We do a curve. See here also the bill is like pointy. There also it's pointy. This way you can develop. Like you can do like how I did the osprey in different uh, postures using the stick figure. Same way the mark as there's another uh, raptors also you can do the same way. So we'll go to the woodpeckers. The woodpeckers, if you see in your sheet, no, they are all pointing towards your right side. So I'm going to do them in left side here. So this way, no, this is the way like the stick drawing helps helps artists. So woodpeckers have like very unique feet. They have two digits in the front, two digits in the back. See, it's very easy. Like. So from this, you can develop the woodpecker. You can define its head, like start refining the head. Start refining woodpeckers have a long bill. They have tiny neck. So have tiny body like they don't have really big body they don't have. So here we start developing their muscles also. So they have a really beautiful, uh, like it's clearly visible in woodpeckers. Most of the other birds, it's not visible. So they have very beautiful muscles, like which, and they have, uh, it's called a thigh muscle. They it helps them stick to the tree very well. Like. And then the tail is also there. They have beautiful long tail which gives them balance. So now you can draw a tree also here. The woodpecker is picking. You can put trees. You can add the wings over this. This way you can, from this, you can develop it into an idea. In the sheet, they are all like pointing towards the right, but I was able to do them in the left also, different posture I was able to do. You can do that way, like this kind of drawing, stick drawing helps you in drawing this thing. So if, uh, you are getting this point, we can uh, move to the video video section. Like I hope everyone has downloaded the videos. Uh, if you have downloaded, you can say yes in the chat. All right. So what we are going to do, like uh, we are going to stop the video, like we are not going to like work on the video uh, when it's playing. So let's stop at six, uh, six seconds. Like. If you stop at six seconds, no? just stop the video at six seconds. It's, the video, the bird has stopped in one particular, it has stopped in one particular position. This is a painted stock. So if you see now very much. 
So, uh, Prasad, are you asking everybody to play it at their own side, or will yes, you? Yes, share? yes, yes. Because they need to draw from the video. Huh? I ask them to download it. Because I cannot show this and the video at the same time. Mm. So this is with the head dipped in the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At six seconds. Left. Yeah. Uh, actually, you can share your or someone can share a screen. Uh, Prasad, even you could share your screen alongside. So you have two cameras, right? You should join from one. Okay. Don't know if I can share my screen. Let me see. Let me see if I can share my screen. Share screen options. Is it share screen? Yeah. Yeah. Share. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You can. See the screen right now. Yeah. All right. So that is the portion like. But I want. I'm not able to see the video. It's fine. Like, uh, but you are able to see the way the bird has stopped. Right. It is in the water like. So I need someone in the timer like we are going to do within five minutes now. So first, what we are trying to do is just make a. Like stick figures, like we are not going to do any detail. So we have done all the stick figures of birds and all that thing. So within that five minutes, or we can even keep three minutes also. Five minutes is so much for the stick figure. So this same, like you see a negative shape in the leg, neck, like uh, head also, you see the body also. This uh, portion we want to do it in stick figures. So, Prerna, if you can keep three minutes or even two minutes also, no? it's fine. Right? Because stick figure, it's not going to take much time. Right? Okay. So, I put a timer for uh, three minutes, let's say. Yeah, three minutes. Right? Can we start now? Yeah, we can start now. So you see the bird is there in the water. So I'm going to draw the head first and the eye. And there is a S curve line. And the bill is inside the water. I'm assuming everyone is able to draw, is drawing, is able to, and is able to follow. So only the stick figure, right? Yeah, yeah. Don't do anything. Like try and. Capture the gesture like the bird, uh, like how I'm drawing, no? same way you draw it. Try and capture the gesture, that is very, very important. Like, that's just fine. Like, don't do any detail, don't do anything. That's all. Like. So I'm done. No, I'm done, sir. I'm done. Yeah. Easy, right? So this is step one. So, so next we are going to draw the one and a half minutes. Yeah, one and a half minutes. Like that. like, that's very good. Like everybody is done, right? You're done? Yeah. Yeah. So next we go to step two, like same bird now. We are going to do like uh, we are going to add the mesh structure and everything, try to uh, define the neck and all the try to add the beak in much better way. So let's do the burden step two link. So we can keep three minutes, I think, again, like uh, for the step two link. Looking downwards,
So this was just two, two minutes. This was two minutes, is it? Hmm. So now we need to refine it even more. Like uh, you know, like we need to like we need to take some more time refine it even better. Like take some more time and work on this uh, bud. So let someone clean the street on the other side. So let's try this again. Like. So using the same shapes, same stick figures, that let's try and define it like how I did the mark earlier. Sad, I am not able to follow the details of how you are drawing. Uh, so, like the same shape, like we did the SKLs, no? Like I am adding the bill. This is the eye. So I am trying to refine it. Like I can't see you too clearly because you are sharing the screen, no? So yeah, your yeah. screen is very small. Correct, correct. That's what. So, so now that we know, like what we are drawing, can you? Can you kind of all right? What I can do now, I can stop the screen sharing. Let me see it. Stop the screen sharing now. Yeah, oh. yeah, much yes, yes, better. Thank, Thank you. I can this one is already pinned now. My screen is pinned, right? Yes, yes, it's yes. pinned. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Um, so now you try and define this. Neck also take some time because you have three minutes time. See how you can refine it. See where see there is a shadow. What is there? Like use the same concept to draw the body. There is shadow here also. Tail, you can add the tail also, refine the tail. Muscle, add the muscles. Add over there. This gives the gesture of the bird. It's the same concept. The same stick drawing only I have done inside. Tail is there, beak is there, head is there. I'm able to draw the bird. So how many minutes we took? Tell me, for this. So this is uh, four minutes and four seconds. Okay. 
So within like very less time, we are able to like get the gesture of the bird. So this way you can do like four minutes, five minutes, like fifteen minutes. The more time you spend, you can refine the details. You can make more details. Okay. So let's change the posture like of the bird. Now I'm going to video. I'm going to play it again. Let's do it in other. Uh, let's work on other postures also. So this posture is uh, very similar, but leg has changed. Uh, so stop the video at eleven. Can you stop the video at eleven? Do, uh, sorry, Prasad, do you like us to share uh, your screen for a few minutes so they can see yeah, the sure. feedback? Please, everyone, make sure. Okay. Yeah. This is at 11 seconds. Okay. You worried, no? So I can stop sharing now, right? Uh, Prasad, but which one? So these are two uh, drawings. Uh, one, now. one on your right side, like, because the left one, uh, nothing like it's uh, uh, totally uh, not a good posture to draw. We can choose the right one. So isn't the right one same like earlier to me? No, no, here if you see now, the leg posture has changed. Like, hmm. like uh, even the head is also moved up. Like so, previously, you know, it's gone downward. A little bit shadow also has changed. It looks similar, but leg posture has changed. Like leg like, now previously it was like this. This one now the leg is much different. Head also is moved upwards. Like, if you want to do the left one also, you can do it. Uh, like, uh, it's a tricky one. If you want to do the left one, let me know. Like, we can do. I can change the chat link if you want to do the left one. No? I think we should try in the left one. Also. All right, fine, we can do it. So uh, let's stop at 11. And we can try the left one. Left. So same way, let's start with the simple uh, circle and the bin. Like, that is the head. The eye, you see, like it's almost to the edge of the body. And the bill is here. And here you have the neck place. That's the neck. And the body. The body. And the leg. So here we have the joint also. You just draw the line leg. So this is going across the beak. That is one line. It has the joint here. Here you are the joint here. So this is a stick figure. Like, this is how you simplify, like you can simplify it like 
So we can try it out again with the second step. We can define it even more better. Let's start with the head. I is here. P is here. I is here. So next is again CS curve. So Prasad, Manish is asking, um, huh. Manish, go ahead, no? Why don't you ask? No, no, I was just uh, making a request. Is it possible to sketch a rooster also? A quick one will do. Is it possible to? Sketch a rooster. Rooster, is it? Rooster yeah. is there in the sheet. Like once we do this gesture, not we can do the rooster is there in the sheet. We can try out the rooster also. So I think um, Manish is asking if we could do it today. But I assume today, I think uh, you still plan to continue doing the gesture drawing. It depends, like if everybody wants to do a rooster, we can go ahead and do it. It's flexible, it's a, like with this one now, you can do any kind of bird, that's not an issue. Right. This way you can do, like you can work on the shadow on the picture. So easy enough with this structure, we slowly start developing the body. So any kind of complicated like shape, anything we can do with simple stick drawing and we can develop on it. Done? Yeah. So I think like you can try out this way, like uh, these are like five minutes is what, like five to six minutes. You can try out, like I've shared the video. So you can try out the uh, even more like you can spend 15 minutes, keep a timer, like for 15 minutes, try to do more details. You can erase this and add the feathers and add shadow. All that you can do. Most of this is in shadow only. 
that's why you can do it. So I think like for demo wise, no, this is like uh, the done. Like, so you can try out like five minutes, ten minutes, fifteen minutes. You can try it from the video like. So we have one booster also in the sheet like. So see like if we can do that. There is one booster for a very simple drawing like. Uh, So again, we start with a very basic shape. Booster also have very pointy bill. They have like a little bit of the mix they have on the body. And they have like long tail they have. And they have like There is one rooster bunny, like on the sheet, no? Gray jungle fowl is there. Then we can try it out. Like. So this is how we start, like very basic shape. I started with the rooster. So next step. So I start adding the crown. On the pointy bill, we also have this neck in the cylinder. We can add the cylinder. This way, in different posture, you can do this simple. This you have in the sheet also. This uh, rooster uh, figure you have in the sheet also. Same thing on here, probably. Yeah, I think that ends the like from my end, uh, that ends the third uh, session. Like most of it I covered, like uh, just you can. If you wish to draw all the stick figures you want to practice, you can do it from the sheet I said. It's a high resolution sheet only. And step one, step two, like I explained everything, like how we develop. Video also I've said. Like uh, any questions you have, you can ask me. Like uh, I will hand over the call to Prerna. From my end, I think we'll like, Okay, uh, so are you suggesting this that to do the that everyone can do rooster at home practice if they want to? Sorry, are you suggesting that everyone people like Manish or anyone who wants to do the rooster practice they can do it at, at their own? Yeah, yeah, they can do like I, from the poster now. I share like uh, yeah. you know they find time. So like I said now, nah, no assignment is not there. Like, uh, it's up to them whenever they find time they can do these uh, practices like whenever they find time so uh, assignment wise right, there is no assignment right. so we have practiced already like whatever uh, there in the sheet we have practiced everything yeah okay okay cool they want to improve or progress further they need to practice these and watch videos like this like uh, of various birds and they can try these stick drawings so, uh, 
and they can try like i said no 5 minute 10 minute like and 15 minutes like gestures so whenever we want to do like humans also you are already aware like if you are doing uh, posture gesture studies in humans also we play videos or even live also we like ask the model to pose for 5 minutes 10 minutes 15 minutes and we do gestures like same way we can do with the birds also. Like lot of videos are there. We can go on YouTube and okay. Uh, Manish or anybody, do you guys have any questions? Or yes, good. No, uh, we no. All okay. Also, please share your drawings on the group. Everyone, you know, um, sure. some of you are sharing. Amika sharing and Mahit also shared some. So it's nice, nice to see everyone practicing. Uh, all right, then I hope I think everyone had a good session today. Uh, Prasad, just one last thing. If you want yeah. to give any quick, uh, uh, you know, set expectation for next week, what are we planning to do? In the next week, week we're going to do like head postures in different, mm -hmm. uh, like I shared that in the first session only. Uh, let me see, like I can share the document like uh, one second. There is a... We're going to do like this only, like uh, how we are done today. So, uh, just give me one second. Let me see. Okay. So next week, what we're going to do is uh, some theory is there. I'll be sharing the manual uh, with you all. Like the theory you can go through. Like, uh, it's easy to understand, see the body parts and all that. So you can go through the document and you can read it like. So what we are going to do is like we are going to do postures like this, like so uh, head, the front profile of the head, like uh, step by step how we are going to do the front profile, side profile, then uh, three fourth uh, side of the head we are going to do like step by step how uh, the birds three fourth head comes up, then moving downwards, moving upwards, so these and body also, front posture, side posture, how we are going to work, and the parts of the wings, all these uh, I will not like explain, like maybe the wing study, no? I can do a pen study, you can do with me, so uh, it will be good, like because we are not done pen study, so this one we can do, and the tail feathers, like, so this is what we are going to do, uh, in the fourth uh, week. Okay, so so now that we have two sessions left, yes. uh, are we planning to do also like at least a couple of full, uh, you know, bird drawings? Yeah, the fifth one, uh, like uh, the fifth one, we are going to do like one, like since uh, now we are doing the stick drawing and uh, all these things. Fifth one, we are going to do like full uh, one hour to one and a half hour video will be there. So I will share the file of the actual drawing. So uh, just like how I shared today, so I'll be sharing the final drawing with you all. So when I play the video, like you can, uh, with the video, no, you can sketch the final bird. That is what we are going to do quickly. Today was very interesting. Very interesting, very interesting. Prasad, I also, Prasad, yes. I, I really enjoyed the session today. It is like, uh, I think I've not drawn so many birds ever in my life. <laughs> like if I add up everything of <laughs> all the animals, everything, I think the, the freedom the stick figures gives is really beautiful. I think your process is uh, something really worth learning. Thank you. So the way you have uh, taught the process, no, like number one figure and, you know, how to gradually build on the basic figure. So I couldn't believe that I can, I can even draw this many birds. This is, this is the first time in my life I have drawn so many birds and that looks actually like bird. That is a, I, I feel for myself, it lo it's a big achievement kind of stuff. So basically, that's what you need to capture the gesture. Now, most people mm. think like details and uh, like colors and background, everything. Huh? That is like very important. But if you actually capture the 
gesture of the bird, na anyone may given a kit also can make out like this is a rooster. True, true. Thank you. That way, if you capture the gesture, it's enough. Like later only you need to know all the details and everything. So this sketching uh, na helps you to do that way. Yes, yes, definitely. Thank you. You are welcome. So if we don't have any questions now, Prerna, I think we can wind up for today. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, everyone, and thank you, Prasad. It was a very interesting session. Thank you. Thanks, Prasad. Thank you. Thanks, Prerna. Thank, thank, thank you, everyone. Bye. Thank you so much. It was an amazing session. Thank you. Bye. -bye.